What is up everybody? So have you ever wondered what are the main things you need to know before you even try to buy a pop-up camper? Well, I recently purchased one and I've been fixing a lot of stuff. And I wanted to just go ahead and tell you guys the top six things you need to look out for when you're thinking of buying a pop-up trailer and maybe a few extra things that'll help you out on your awesome pop-up adventure. It has been a great journey. So in this video, we're gonna talk about it guys. So here we go. So if you found this video, you have probably asked yourself a million questions about what should you look for when you get to uh, that pop-up which you saw on Craigslist or on Facebook Marketplace and you're wondering just what should I be looking for? So I'm gonna explain those right now. So the first thing you should be absolutely looking at when you go to buy your pop-up is look at the tires. So if you see any cracks or anything that doesn't look right on the tires, remember those things are gonna cost you a few bucks a piece. Usually I think that most of them come with where you have to buy, buy the rim and the tire. So you're looking at, you know, 60 to 70 bucks per side. Or um, remember you have to grease the bearings every couple of years. So it would help that if you asked the previous owner when was the last time the bearings were um, looked at and greased and properly uh, packed. Quick assessment can save you a little time, a little effort, um, and you won't just show up the next morning with two flat tires. The next thing I wanna talk about is your canvas. Just remember that the canvas is your bread and butter on a pop-up, and that a lot of times uh, they are stored wet and you pop them up and they can have mildew on them or somebody stuffed them in wrong when they close the hatch and they get torn or cut. So just, you wanna uh, have it out and you want to look at the corners, every corner all the way around, all four corners of the canvas because a lot of times where it touches the corners it will rub as the wind blows and uh, those are some of the spots that they kind of the seam comes out. I actually put duct tape on the inside of mine with some shoe goo to give it some extra uh, strength. Some people put a lot of seat belts on the inside. They take the seat belt straps and they glue them to the inside corner so when it's rubbing it doesn't rub the canvas. It rubs the seat belt or the duct tape. I put three layers on mine. It seems to be working pretty good and then just uh, made sure that the seams were in good shape, kind of put a little glue on them and helped me along the way. So the next things I would look at is I would try to uh, get in and make sure that all the electrical and the lights and everything work well. Make sure that you have it where you can plug it up uh, and you can turn on the lights and, and the air conditioner because you want to make sure that the air conditioner works. That is a big expenditure if it doesn't. Sorry, I had to change spots because that chair was making too much noise. So when you're looking at this electrical stuff, guys, remember to have it turned on, have it plugged up. When I bought mine, there was nowhere to plug it up because the adapters are different. So you have to have the little adapter to plug it into a house, 15 amps. And uh, I, just, I just went ahead and made, took the chance. Everything worked out fine. It was A-OK, -okay, but just keep in mind, you want to make sure this thing's plugged up because being that they're stored shut a lot, the humidity, water gets in them, electrical wires and water don't really mix, and uh, a lot of the things can be kind of rusted out, corroded, and not in a very good uh, situation, That kind of like the floor does. So make sure the floor is not rotted out. Check all four corners. And also on the canvas, check all four uh, spots where the canvas uh, goes underneath the top of the camper because that plywood that's inside there will will rot as it gets wet because it's nothing but just plywood. A lot of times it's almost like particle board and it'll just kind of just doesn't do very well. Make sure you check that. I want to go over the most important part and that is your cables. I think it's the most important part because they're kind of side on and seen and they're on the inside corners of your pop-up. They make the the roof go up and down and it's basically just four pulleys, a winch, and um, some springs. So if those pop you won't be able to open the camper and it, it, it can be expensive to fix and uh, are time consuming on your part to try to fix because you got to prop the, the, the ceiling up while you do it and uh, it, it's kind of like you, you don't really know it until they break. So what I would do 
I would try to look at them, but most people aren't going to take all the cupboards out and everything to let you see it. But when you get it day one, make sure you take the 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 cabinets open them up and lubricate all that the best you can make sure the wire doesn't look really bad and if it does just go ahead and fix it because you don't want to get all over your campsite and the weekend is ruined because the cables pop now i think the last thing that i want to talk about is the plumbing and the water system in your in your rv or in your pop-up because this was a real problem for me and Samantha this last weekend. We got all the way out there, we got all set up, and day two I wanted to try to hook the water up to see like you know if it works. But I had brought my tools with me. Always make sure you bring your tools with you for the first couple times you uh, take your pop-up out and probably always have a, a set of tools in there. But I hooked the water up, I heard it go into the um, the camper and then I told Samantha to turn on the water and it just started leaking everywhere. The the drain was not working. The, the, the P-trap underneath the sink was actually had a screw in it from when we were remodeling the uh, camper. Screw got in there, blocked the P-trap up, water went everywhere. So I learned that one the hard way that um, the drains weren't working. Something I got to fix now but and it's probably something that you can't really check while you're there. Um, looking at the RV if it's not in like a, an actual uh, dealer or something like that you know it's just something you got to fix they're not really complicated it's not a big deal same way with like um, your hot water heater and stuff like that all that's pretty simple you just pop the top it's all right there and if you've ever done any ho housework you can fix this but that's just another thing you need to think about so the big thing so the big things i'm trying to get over is just check you know almost like a four point inspection on a house you want to check your electrical you want to check your plumbing you want to check make sure you don't have any rot and if you do have some wood rot or whatever how hard it is to fix it and then make sure your canvas is good and then last but not least your tires and your bearings because you got to pull it um, mine has been pretty pretty good the tires were in pretty good shape they were a little old you know, I think the rule of thumb is you want to change these things every two or three years, pack the bearings every so many miles, or if it sits up a long time. I don't really, haven't really pulled it very far recently, you know, maybe 40, 50 miles, no problems, but you need to check yours before you take it out on the road. So now, last but not least, but when you go to see your, your, your pop-up camper and you really think you're going to buy this one, make sure the trailer ball on your truck fits the trailer you're going to pick up. I think mine's a two inch so don't roll over there with you know a bigger trailer ball or a smaller one and then you can't pick up the trailer and you got to go find a trailer ball i'm just saying that could happen so all right guys so i hope you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe comment down below if you've had any other wild issues about problems with your pop-up so other people can learn and you know Maybe have an idea to look out for it, and I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, if you like this video, go ahead and check out my other videos where I restored this pop-up trailer right here and right here. And hopefully they'll set you in the right direction.